Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we've got Gunslinger, Ashford Asylum, Suicidal, and I gotta drink some water. Zed are close. Safety's off. Weather. <sighs> good water, man. It's good water. I love water. Something <sighs> Sometimes I wonder, you know? Sometimes I wonder. But what? Like all kinds of things. It's Saturday today. I didn't put the uh, the Serenity SMP video up on Friday. You know, time you know time got away from me a little bit this uh, this past week. I don't know. You know I don't know why. I mean, not nothing happened. You know. Um, I didn't I didn't have the time to to get the editing done and, and get it up. And I don't want to wait until this Friday to put up the video finally. So I'm probably just gonna edit it. Tonight or tomorrow, maybe, and then it'll go up on like Tuesday, uh, and then episode two will come out on Friday, and then we'll we'll continue on with uh, with one video a week on Fridays, and hopefully that's fine. We'll find out. But I, it's just it's time for a video to go up on Serenity, you know. I'm not sure if any of the other creators have put up any videos yet. Um. You know, when when once somebody does, there'll kind of be a domino effect, you know. But I want to put up some video. We've had some people streaming on the server, um, but I don't know if we've had any videos. So I want to do something about that at least, you know. Just uh, just do something. So Wednesday, I'll probably put up the other video. I don't want to put it up like tomorrow, because then Monday the uh, single player video comes out, and. Uh, I don't want to do it Monday because you know Monday the single player series comes out, and then Tuesday again Monday the single player series comes out. So Wednesday is kind of the the best day to do it. That gives me a day between the single player and the new uh, multiplayer series. Um, yeah, so it'll be going up. So there'll be uh, two. Multiplayer series, or two multiplayer videos coming up this week if you guys are interested in the Minecraft stuff. I hope you are. I, uh, I love making it. Hey. But, uh, if you aren't, you know, it's fine. I don't judge much. Not much. Only a little bit, you know? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I've got to got to go record for cuz the single player series goes up on Monday and it's Saturday today, so I got to do some recording for that. It's it's weird having like cuz I I've been doing the the like daily videos for a while, right? You know where we have uh, new videos going up every day? Like that's been on for a while now, right? I don't really come down here. I mean, I don't like going underground in this area cuz it's like death. Um but I don't really come down here for good reason. I don't know my way around, and it's death. Uh, anyway, um, it's, it's weird because I've been doing daily videos for so long, right? You know, like just record a video, get it up. You know, half hour of recording, half hour of video, and uh, check it up for the day, right? Um, but with this, it's like a whole different outlook on it, you know? Like, I, I have to worry about, like, okay, so I have to, like, record, I'm gonna have to find time to, like, edit it all, and, like, go through all the clips, and you know, do all this kind of stuff. It's a uh, time-consuming process, and it's it's strange having to, like, think about it in a different light. You know, because right now I'm like, yeah, I still have time to get it done, but I'm going to have to, like, get on that and, like, you know, make it happen. I'm still, I'm not running behind. I just, I have to go play Minecraft for a little bit, <laughs> you know, which is um, kind of cool. I'll give you a, a little peek at the base, actually. No, I don't have I don't have Minecraft open. I thought I did, but I do not have Minecraft open right now. It's okay. It's coming along though. I'm liking it. We're gonna be getting started on the uh, the Nether Hub this Monday. This coming Monday, we'll be getting started on the Nether Hub. We desperately need one. Um, we moved bases. We set up a little like starter shack, and then we moved over to a more permanent location. And we have to move over like all the villagers and all this kind of stuff. So I want to have a another hub to to get started on that. 
So we'll be getting started on, on something of another hub. I don't know what design I'm going to go for yet. I don't want to talk about it too much, because like I'm just going to be repeating myself when I go record the start of the episode later. You know, it's like, I'm talking here like, I don't know, it's, uh, I gotta think about like, what kind of designs we want. You know, I have like a bunch of ideas, but when it comes to another hub, it's really more function over form, and you kind of have to, to kind of design around the, the function that you're kind of expecting from your, your nether hub, you know? Like, you want to have uh, tunnels going out in all the four cardinal directions, and you want to have the ability to maneuver around the nether hub easily. You don't want it to be too much of a hassle to, to get around. Like, it's more about the convenience than the, than the prettiness of it but you, you still want it to kind of look pretty it's just it's kind of tricky to, to make it not look like it's the same thing every time because it kind of is you know and then i go and record episode one and it's like yeah so like when it comes to the nether <laughs> you know it's just like yeah i don't really want to worry about that too much so i don't want to talk about it too much um watch the video if you're interested it goes up on monday we will uh, it'll be completed the nether hub or at least mostly completed i will probably be making modifications to it for years to come as we uh, find new things that I like to add in, maybe a, a different methods of transportation that I add in or whatever, you know, as, as time kind of goes on, we might uh, modify it a little bit, but it's, uh, my goodness, it's always good fun. I like, I like designing in other hubs because it is, uh, it is kind of the same thing every time, but it's also kind of stressful when you're, you're making a video on it because you have to like try and make it unique at least but like 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 i said when i was kind of joking around it, it is kind of the same thing every time you know because it, it does kind of go down so it's a function over form and it's more about the convenience than the appearance anyway enough of minecraft enough of minecraft oh goodness i don't know what else i can talk about i don't have any other interests i'm a very uh two-dimensional individual um I'm trying to write the next chapter of Shara's Many Faces. It's the uh, the online web novel that I'm writing, kind of thing, you know, with uh, it's an isekai kind of uh, genre. Um, trying to write it. I'm having a lot of trouble writing chap uh, the third chapter though, because the third chapter has like proper dialogue, and we're gonna be introducing mechanics and like all this kind of stuff into it and I'm like I don't really know how to, to handle that I haven't had that hit of inspiration that I need to, to make it happen just yet I've got some dialogue kind of fleshed out and I know where it goes but I'm like it just feels like it's drawing on too long and I kind of like get rid of some bits here and there and I'm like I just I feel like we're not really developing the characters enough here and like building the world up enough and it's 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 it's, uh, it's hard to to go over honestly Oh, you know, I had a fun idea for today, actually, that I completely forgot to do. I wanted to, um... I wanted to write a story as we were playing. Oh, no. Please? I wanted to write a story as we were playing here. So just, like, tell a tale, a fable. Make one up on the go. I was I was thinking about it last night. I like doing that kind of stuff on, uh, on occasion, just as a, uh... I have a sudden fear of this whole corridor. <laughs> it's just over, like, all of a sudden, just like, yeah, no, I don't really want to go down that way anymore. Um, uh, <laughs> anyway, I wanted, I like doing that kind of stuff uh, from time to time, just to kind of engage the, you know, creative cortex, as it were. Keep the brain kind of working and, and uh, being utilized creatively. I think it's a, it's a valuable thing to do if you have any desire to to do anything creative with your life is to do creative things. And so last night I was kind of laying in bed and I'm like, you know what? I think it's time for another um, make up a story as we as we go. So I think that's what we'll do for the rest of this episode. We're just gonna I'm gonna tell you a tale. I haven't thought about what the tale will be about. I haven't thought about uh, what the genre is gonna be. I haven't thought about character names, I haven't thought about setting or the world or anything like that. I just, I thought, you know what? It'd be fun to just hop on and just wing it and try and tell a story. So, I'm gonna try, okay? And it might not go well, I don't know. It's, I can do this when I'm thinking to myself. Uh, no problem. I have to drink. When I'm uh, when I'm thinking to myself, I can I can like come up with a story and 
tell the tale, as it were, but when you're playing KF2 at the same time, it's, it is it uh, it is honestly a, a challenge, okay? It's not just an excuse. It's, it, it does, it does... When, when you're intentionally, like, engaging yourself in, uh, in a challenging manner, uh, every little bit of... of, uh... mental acuity, or acuity, or, you know, whatever, that you can have is, is definitely useful. Um... So I'm, I'm trying to think of just a, a basic plot here. Money, anyone? Rock and roll. Trying to think of a basic plot. Oi, keep it down in there! The guard yelled at Laura as she cowered in the corner of the cell she was thrown into just prior that week. She wasn't sure why she'd been locked up. Some men came and attacked her on the side of the street. I don't like it. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I was thinking we'd go for like uh, like jailbreak kind of thing, you know? But I'm not feeling it. I was trying to tell it. I'm like, I don't know where I go from here. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, I'm not in a creative mood then. We'll leave it. Don't force it when it's not happening, you know? But I have been having some writer's block with, uh, with Shara's many faces. The mission is underway. Lock and load. I have been having some, a bit of, a bit of writer's block for sure. Just, uh, it's, it's the first time I'm writing, like, uh, dialogue in a while, you know? And, and just trying to get it so that it works nice. I can kind of come up with the flow of things, but putting it into words and on paper and, well, not really on paper, but, like, you know, make, making it seem nice is, is difficult. Um, but I'm I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We might we might do it tomorrow. The uh, the little story thing. I might. I'm not I'm not feeling it today. I was, I was trying and it just it didn't work. You know, my, my brain. I didn't know where to go after that point. I was uh, I was stuck. That's okay. That's why it's important to do that though, right? The more you do it, the better you get at it. The easier it becomes, right? So every now and then, I, uh, when I'm out and about with people, I'll often, um, make up tales about the people who we, uh, who we see. You know, I'm out with my sister or whatever. I used to get her. I used to, she used to believe me, you know? It, it's kind of started out as, uh, me joking around, just trying to, like, see if I could make her, like, believe that I knew this random person that I saw on the street. I'd be like, oh, hey, there's, like, Jeff, you know? And she'd be like, really? You know that guy? I'm like, yeah, we went to school together. He works at, uh, I believe it was the McDonald's down on, you know, Example Street. She's like, oh, really? How old is he? I'm like, oh, he's 22. Uh, and, you know, just, just kind of, like, come up with a story about him. And it's like, yeah, well, you know, his mother was kind of um, always pretty distant with him when he was growing up. He didn't really have... Uh, a parental figure. His father had uh, left when they were young. Uh, he's, he didn't really have a, a good relationship with him either. Um, and with the mother kind of not really being too big a part, he kind of had to work for himself and you know do all of his own chores and get a job to, to pay for food and his phone and school supplies and all this kind of stuff. And you know, it, she used to believe me when I would go on these uh, these rants about uh, people I knew on the street. And I don't let it go on for too long, you know, like at a certain point you're like, nah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, point of like, I've never seen that guy in my life. Um, <laughs> but, but now, nowadays it's like, no, no, I actually know this person. It's like, yeah, okay. It's like, no, no, like we went to school together. Uh-huh, sure you did. I'm like, uh, you know, it's the, it's the boy who cried wolf, right? If you tell too many lies, nobody will believe you. It's okay. It's okay. But it's a uh, it's it's nice kind of coming up with those uh, backstories and and ideas and thoughts and just kind of being creative every now and then. But I can't I can't come up with a story. I wanted to do it. It's a challenge. Like writing a story is different from coming up with like a character backstory, right? Like I could make a character backstory right now. Okay. Like we can talk about. Uh, 
I'm trying to think of a name. All my D&D characters' names starts with a Y. I'm trying to think of one that I haven't used. I have like Yara, Yarma, Yam, uh, Yara, Yar, Yara, Yarma, Yana, Yule, Yuri, uh, Yoru. Um, we, we went weeb for a little bit. Um, Yul. Um, Yol, your? I can't remember. I, I like. I have a lot of Y names. Okay. It's hard for me to think of one that I haven't had, so I'm just trying to think of a of a Y name that I haven't used. Like we we could talk about. Um, trying to think here. Ya, yo, you. Yan. Yof. Um. Yali? Yeah, Yali. Okay, but I, I could come up with a character named Yali, okay? And uh, Yali is a. Um, uh, we'll say Yali's a paladin, you know? Um, grew up in like a hyper religious town. Full of paladins and clerics and. Um, very like lawful good but his idea of lawful is not necessarily the same as other idea he 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 sticks to the uh so i guess i guess maybe well no he he'd be lawful good but the laws that he cares about and the the structure that he cares about are the ones that were taught to him by his church not necessarily the ones that he goes elsewhere he he has a firm belief that his uh his church and and his beliefs and his values are the correct ones and the, the world needs to be fixed. Um, so maybe, you know what, lawful evil. Um, um, he was indoctrinated into the order at a, uh, at a fairly young age, as all of the children in the town of... Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of a pun on religion. Um, I can't. I can't think of anything. As all of the uh, the young ones in the town of uh, Darmy were, uh, or, or, or are rather, I guess. Um, now that's bullet time. And uh, he was taught the ways of the paladin. He was a, uh, and uh, he he kind of like goes around the world. Trying to save people from their own despair, like, you know, typical, like, you know, stereotypical, I guess. Um, like, hyper-religious person, you know? Like, you're going to hell if you don't listen to me, you know, like that kind of thing. Um, his starting stuff would probably involve a lot of religious propaganda, so I'd, uh, I'd probably get rid of the, um... The, like, I, I'd, I'd roll for money, and I'd, uh, we'd probably get, like, a lot of signets and rings and, and jewelry, I mean, books, perhaps, like, Bibles and stuff. Um, he'd be a, uh, yeah. Like, I, I can come up with that kind of, like, you know, backstory for a person, but, like, putting it into a tale and, and like, trying to be, like, you know, Yoli was raised back in the town of Darmi. You know, and, and trying to like tell the story is the we're thinking. Like it's a very different thing trying to think of the entire thing and then like kind of explain it in a way that makes sense and and, and port, like kind of tell the story. You know, it's it's a very different thing. It's much harder. But um, I do love coming up with character backstories. I like Yoli actually. Yoli sounds like fun. I'd I'd totally play Yoli. That, that hyper-religious, you know, like, religious fanatic who uh, who goes around forcing their beliefs on other people. It, it just, it sounds like a fun thing to play. You know what? It's not, it's not a shot at religion. Okay, it's not like people are really doing that in real life. Like, it's not like I'm modeling this after, you know, all Christians or anything like that. It's it's just that uh, I think I think it'd be fun to play that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. 
Just like going to a bar or something. And 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 talking to the the barkeep. And like, excuse me, I don't see any. Uh, what would the god be? I don't know. It's sure, Darmy. Darmy's the god. We we just made a god. Woo! I don't see any Darmy insignias around here. Uh, are you aware that uh, you're committing a heinous sin? Like, who the hell is Darmy? Darmy! Yeah, yeah, I got that. Who who is Darmy? country bumpkins and he just pulls out like one of the billions of like papers that that have the the darmia the the darmy uh like insignias drawn on it and he just puts it down on the on the uh, on the bar and he says next time i come i want to see these everywhere and he just storms out doesn't pay for the drink that he got <laughs> he just storms out i think it could be uh I think it could be really fun. Um, he, go, he goes to a church and he's like, "Excuse me, who is this Jesus? Uh, it's the it's the God that we worship here. There is no God named Jesus. There was only Darmy. You know, just just that like overly like zealous like fanaticism. It's uh, it'd, it'd be fun to roleplay. I think." I've never seen the King Flesh Pound not enraged. That's cool. I think it'd be I think it'd be fun to roleplay as that for sure. I'm gonna have to go make that character later, I think. Because Yoli sounds like fun to play. It would it would be more of a one shot kind of thing, I think. Or or you know, maybe maybe a long campaign, but you'd have to play with people. Any, anytime you do something like that where you have a very confrontational uh, character. Oh no. Anytime you do something like that where you have a very confrontational character where you're going to be, you know, attacking people for their values and whatnot, you don't really want to play with people who aren't going to enjoy that because, like, realistically, you're going to be confronting the player's characters as well. Um, and, and you kind of get in the way with people like that. So it's really better for, like, a one-shot where you're expected to kind of give up some of your character to make the thing go smoothly. And you get, like, a, a brief moment of role play for your character everybody gets their brief moment and then it's like okay but we do have to like finish this today you know so you kind of get on to that um but uh yoli could be fun yoli could be fun i think i like making characters who have like quirks and and flaws and stuff like that you know when you make a character you're like yeah their flaws that they just really care about their friends I'm like it's not really that much like it's not it's not a flaw you know like yeah it's a flaw but, like, it's so much more fun to roleplay it when your flaw is like, yeah, no, he's just a massive dick. To everybody. Just the biggest dick around. That's Yoli. You know? Or, like, you know, she's highly naive, or he's blind, or, you know, like, something where it's, like, a major character trait that is, like, a visible, very noticeable flaw that affects how you roleplay as the character, that affects how you see the character and how the character reacts to things like that's something that's big like the more things that your flaw is going to affect the better a flaw it is right like i, th I think a lot of people get scared when they're thinking of flaws and they're like well i don't want my flaw to like ruin my character but like i, th I think that the flaw is the most important part to a character in dnd i could go on for this topic for hours um but it's it's it, it is because when it comes to D and D, you don't you don't like the, the the world is balanced around your character, right? So you want to make your character something that is interesting and fun and has motivations and fears and problems to face and struggles and and all this kind of stuff, so that, that the DM can kind of like capitalize on that and introduce things and have uh, fun ways for you to kind of like work around those flaws and those struggles and and all that. Like it makes it so much more fun in my opinion um to have like a, a very visible flaw like that so yoli's flaw is definitely that he's just a massive patronizing dick um anyway that's gonna do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to more in the future comment if you have anything to say and i'll see you next time Bye bye